Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 iconic landmarks in America. Get ready to explore some of the most famous and breathtaking sites in the country. From sea to shining sea, we're about to take a road trip through history, culture, and some seriously impressive architecture. Buckle up, because we're hitting the ground running. And by ground, I mean this vaguely uncomfortable chair in my office, but you get the idea. Let's dive in. First up, a true American icon, standing tall and proud in New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty. It's not just a giant copper lady, it's a symbol of freedom and hope. Gifted to the United States by France back in 1886, this green goddess has been greeting immigrants and tourists alike for over a century. Think about it, she's seen it all. World wars, the moon landing, the invention of the cronut, She's even had a few cameos in some pretty epic movies. King Kong, anyone? Lady Liberty represents the American dream, the idea that anything is possible. Plus, the view from the crown is supposed to be amazing. Just saying. From one monumental landmark to another, we're heading to South Dakota to visit four of America's most famous presidents, carved into the side of a mountain. That's right, it's Mount Rushmore. It took 14 years, 400 workers, and a whole lot of dynamite. They used dynamite to sculpt the faces of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Mount Rushmore is now one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world, attracting millions of visitors each year. People come from all over to marvel at the sheer scale of the sculpture and to learn about the history of these four great leaders. It's pretty darn impressive. Imagine trying to carve your initials into a tree and then multiply that by like a million. So next time you're feeling ambitious, just remember Mount Rushmore and the power of dynamite. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're heading to the city by the bay where a certain orange icon awaits the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jimmy, it's not actually gold. And you're right, it's international orange. But hey, Golden Gate sounds way more glamorous, don't you think? This bridge is more than just a pretty color. It's an engineering marvel, connecting San Francisco to Marin County and spanning one of the most famous straits in the world. Built back in the 1930s, the logistics must have been insane. It's the ultimate symbol of San Francisco. And let's be honest, it's pretty darn photogenic. You can walk, bike, or even drive across it. Just try not to get too distracted by the stunning views of Alcatraz, Angel Island, and the city skyline. Get ready to be dazzled, folks, because we're heading to the crossroads of the world Times Square. This is where dreams are made of, or at least where they're advertised on giant flashing billboards. The energy is electric, the crowds are massive, and the lights are so bright, you might need to wear sunglasses at night. Times Square is a sensory overload in the best possible way. There's always something to see and do, from Broadway shows to street performers, to those giant red stairs that everyone takes pictures on. And let's not forget about the shopping. You can find anything and everything in Times Square, from cheesy souvenirs to designer duds. So go ahead, grab a hot dog from a street vendor, snap a selfie with a costumed superhero, and soak up the chaos that is Times Square. Hold on to your hiking boots, folks, because we're heading to the great outdoors. And by outdoors, I mean a super volcano with exploding geysers, bubbling mud pots, and more bison than you can shake a stick at. Yellowstone National Park, 
This place is wild, both literally and figuratively. We're talking about a massive park that spans three states and is home to more geysers and hot springs than anywhere else in the world. The most famous, of course, is Old Faithful, which erupts every 90 minutes or so, shooting hot water high into the air. But Yellowstone is more than just geysers. There are also stunning mountains, lush forests, and pristine lakes. And did I mention the wildlife? We're talking about grizzly bears, wolves, elk, and of course, those traffic-stopping bison. So pack your bags, grab your binoculars, and get ready to experience the raw beauty of Yellowstone. Next stop, Washington, D.C., where we're paying a visit to the most famous address in America, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, also known as the White House. This iconic building has been home to every U.S. president since John Adams. And let's be honest, it's seen a lot of history, from state dinners to bill signings to the occasional scandal, the White House has witnessed it all. The Oval Office, the Rose Garden, the Situation Room, these are the places where decisions are made that affect the entire world. Plus, it's just a really cool house. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in a mansion with its own bowling alley and movie theater? The White House is more than just a building. It's a symbol of American democracy, for better or for worse. And hey, if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of the president walking his dog on the South Lawn. Get ready for your close-up, folks, because we're heading to Hollywood, where dreams are made and broken on a daily basis. And what better symbol of this iconic neighborhood than the Hollywood sign? Perched high up in the Hollywood Hills, these nine white letters have become synonymous with fame, fortune, and the entertainment industry. But did you know that the sign wasn't originally built for tourists? It was actually a giant advertisement for a real estate development called Hollywoodland, and now millions of people visit the sign each year, hoping to catch a glimpse of it from afar, or if they're feeling ambitious, hiking up to get a closer look. Just be warned, it's a bit of a trek. But the views from the top are supposed to be amazing, so maybe it's worth breaking a sweat. Plus, you can tell everyone you hiked the Hollywood sign. Sounds way more impressive than I saw it from the freeway, right? Get ready to roll the dice, folks, because we're heading to Sin City, where the drinks are strong, the shows are spectacular, and the slot machines never sleep. Las Vegas. At the heart of all the action is the Las Vegas Strip, a four-mile stretch of casinos, hotels, and entertainment venues that's like nowhere else on Earth. You can find everything from the Eiffel Tower to the Statue of Liberty to a giant glowing pyramid. Inside the casinos, you'll find everything from high stakes poker tables to Cirque du Soleil shows to celebrity chef restaurants. And if you're feeling lucky, you can always try your hand at the slots or the roulette wheel. Just remember what they say, the house always wins. Even if you don't walk away a millionaire, you're guaranteed to have an unforgettable experience in Vegas. Just maybe set a budget before you go. Those showgirls and cocktails can really add up. Hold on to your Mickey Mouse ears, folks, because we're ending our journey at the most magical place on Earth, Walt Disney World. This sprawling entertainment complex in Orlando, Florida, is like stepping into a fairy tale with four theme parks, two water parks, and enough rides, shows, and attractions to keep you entertained for weeks. From the classic Magic Kingdom, to the futuristic Epcot, to the Animal Kingdom at Animal Kingdom, there's something for everyone at Disney World. You can ride a roller coaster with Indiana Jones, soar through the air with Peter Pan, or even go on a safari adventure with Simba and Mufasa. Sure, it's crowded, it's expensive, and you might have to wait in line for an hour just to ride a two-minute ride. But when you see the look on your kids' faces or your inner child's face, it's all worth it. Because at Disney World, dreams really do come true. Thanks for joining us on this journey through America's most iconic landmarks. From the Statue of Liberty to Walt Disney World, we've covered a lot of ground. 
And while these are just a few of the amazing places to see in this great country, they're a good starting point for your next adventure. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your trip today. And don't forget to pack your sense of adventure, your camera, and maybe a few extra pairs of walking shoes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting travel content. See you in the next video.